An event to mark the founding of the Chinese People's Liberation Army took place last evening under the auspices of former President Mahindra Rajapaksa. The event was held at the Shangri-La Hotel in Colombo and former President Mahindra Rajapaksa was welcomed by the Chinese ambassador to Sri Lanka. The chief guest for the event was Kapila Vaidhiratna, the Secretary of Defence, and also saw former Secretary of Defence Gotabe Rajapaksa in attendance. The former president was engaged in a lengthy discussion with the opposition leader R. Sampanthan before the event commenced. The Chinese national anthem was played to open the event and it was followed by the Sri Lankan national anthem. China's armed forces followed a comprehensive, cooperative and sustainable security concept and it will continue to develop military to military relations. The PRA will strive to establish security mechanisms to further strengthen security. Military confidence building measures will see security cooperation and it will create a secure environment favorable for peaceful development. China has provided powerful support to socio-economic development and military investment to Sri Lanka. The friendship between China and Sri Lanka has grown even stronger. Chinese military officials are aware of improving relations with the Sri Lankan military. The China's assistance in providing military equipment, weapons, ammunition and technology to Sri Lanka indicate the success of the bilateral military relationships between the two nations. The signing of the strategic partnership of cooperation featuring sincere mutual support and long-lasting friendship strengthen the existing and future bilateral ties between China and Sri Lanka. However, it is in the 21st century that bilateral relations grew stronger than ever. We are grateful to China and its people for the aid and the support given to Sri Lanka. Several government MPs and ministers were also present at the event to mark the founding of the Chinese People's Liberation Army.